Chrysler, this is James, aka JP Harker, coming to you with another video. I thought I'd do one about what I'm up to in my writing, because I've done quite a few about what I've been reading, and my thoughts on that, and I'll continue to do those, because I do find those fun to make and people seem to like them, but I thought I'd give a little bit of an update of where I am writing-wise. So, as has been all over my social media, and I'm sure has been a huge part in everyone's lives, Book 4 of the Caledon Saga is now out. And I am working, sort of working, on Book 5. I got Book 5 down to the Planned by Scene, which is just before my Planned by Chapter stage, a little before Christmas. And different writers work things in different ways. Either I'm powering through stuff like a madman, or I'm being what is probably more sensible, and having my ideas, putting them down, put it to one side, having a bit of a think, coming back to it and thinking, okay, I'll have a look through, is there anything I've missed, anything I should add, anything that I should get rid of, etc, etc. So, uh, book five, was, I nearly told you the title, but I'm keeping the title on the quiet for now. Book five is in the stewing phase, I'm leaving it to stew, leaving it to simmer, and I'll probably be coming back to that in February, maybe Maybe March, but hopefully February will be when I'm back to that. So at the moment, I've been working on a couple of things. I've been tidying up Blood and Woad, which uh, Kat and also Kayla and a few people have very kindly been looking at for me. And that's been getting good response, which is nice. We shall see where that goes. I've been toying with the idea of doing some more things like that. Doing some shorter stories set in the Caledon world, but not part of the Caledon saga. So, there's one or two ideas I've been chucking around. They might be novella length, they might be a short novel length, they might be just short stories. I've got quite a few deleted scenes from things like uh, Lion Cub. It was going to start with uh, the characters much younger. So I, I may develop that and take those ideas and run with them. What I'm actually working on and actively doing, and was doing today, is a whole brand new series, because I'm easily distracted like that. And I thought I'd have a, have a go at doing something a bit Viking-y, but keeping it Welsh, keeping it real. So I've been looking at, linguistically, trying to make it a mixture of sort of Welsh and Danish, but also looking at doing some of your classic Viking tropes, like dancing on the oars, and singing as you roam, and the raven pitched sails, and all that sort of thing, because I do like that sort of thing. But having a bit more of a Welsh edge to it, like I have in the Iron Age Welsh stuff I'd be doing, this would be Bronze Age transitioning to Iron Age, is what I'm aiming for. I'm liking the idea that iron is there, but it's rare. And thrilling though that historical backdrop I'm sure was, just to add to the thrill, it's going to have more magic in it. So far in the Caledon books, magic has been quite subtle, quite backgroundy. It's relevant to the plot, but it's not a big deal, and it's not big showy magic. But I like the idea of having a go at that, so with this I'm having magic users, but also magical creatures. Uh, so things like I'm toying with the idea of sort of uh, wolfen and kraken and dragons and things like that. Whether there'll be a large part of it, or whether there'll be a subtle part of it, like magic is with the Caledon Saga, I don't know. But magic itself, I quite like the idea of making that a little bit more everyday, a little bit more part of people's working lives, part of how people see the world, rather than, oh, that's something weird and crazy and unusual. No, that's part of life. So that's the, the brief for that one, so I should be working on that, and... Even as I got to a chapter into it, I was distracted by, oh, I wonder what the politics would be with these various little tribes and nations. So I'm going to do my best to not get distracted by that and work on it. So I shall keep you posted on that one. The, the working title for it is uh, Wailas, but that won't be what it's kept. Wailas is just the Saxon root word of Wales, and it just means foreigner or enemy. So it's, it's what all the files are called, but I'll probably change that. But uh, yes, until I get back to the Caledon Saga, that's what I'll be chatty about and working on.
so let me know your thoughts. I try to avoid giving too much detail, but I'll, I'll give a bit, I'll let people know what the ideas are, and if there's feedback, come back to me with feedback. So, yes, writing-wise, apart from my usual dipping into the Ransom books and dipping into my epic fantasy and dipping into various other projects that I shouldn't be letting myself get distracted by, that's the main thing I'm doing, is the Waylass Welsh meets Viking. We shall see how that goes. So, this little update has been a little update. I shall leave it at that. This is James, a.k.a. J.P. Harker. Well, that would